Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, let me see how many people, 11, welcome back again. Nice to see you. Now cameras today. Anna Lillian is there. Good evening, teacher. Maria is driving now? Yes. Okay, be careful, be careful. So, será que hay tráfico que nos están sacando más tarde, pero varios están en carretera en este momento. Fueron a cenar, teacher, con la familia. <laughs> Broma, no. Ajá, lo delató. Lo peor que ni cerca vivo, Tich. Ni cerca. Ay, los chambres, Tich. <risa> Nomás les adivinó. Ok. Así como algunas teachers que se van hasta para otro país y todo. No, no, no se oye. Tengo problemas con el audio. Pues sí, 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 como le decía, ¿verdad? Entonces las tareas. Los sí, no, eso es. Yeah. Sí, 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 sí. No, 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 no. I understand the situations. 
Good news, I think, teacher, vamos a tener vacaciones. No. I got good news for you and for me too. We are, we are going to have a vacation the next week. No, sí. ¿Ah? Yo no sé si va a haber acá en las clases, pregunto yo, ¿verdad? <laughs> Porque yo le dije que vacaciones yo no tengo. I told you. I told you. Today I, I got the message uh, for the coordinator. And based on that, uh, we are going to have vacation for the next week. Así es que we are going to have vacation. I got it here. I don't know if you can see it. No se ve. <laughs> no se ve. Sí se escucha borroso, pero no. <laughs> Ah, se, se escucha borroso. Se escucha, se escucha borroso. borroso, pero no se ve, pinche. Creí, creí, Brian. Que, creí que me iba a decir, se ve entrecortado y se oye borroso. Ah, ese es nuevo. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. No, be, be serious, be serious. Teacher, una pregunta. Sí. Este, ¿Usted da clases de inglés en la Universidad de San Salvador o en la de San Miguel? San Miguel. Ah, pues me lo voy a encontrar el otro. <ríe> ¿Le dan los de laboratorio clínico? No. Ah, pues no me Only lo voy en diferentes áreas. Ah, yo creí que le daba los de laboratorio. No. Ah, yo ya estaba pensando, por lo menos ya lo conozco, iba a decir yo. Ah, ah, pero ahí lo voy a buscar para que me oriente. Pero ya sé, no, quién, no, le va, ya sé quién le va a dar, sí. ¿De verdad? Yes. Oh. Lo voy a decir, yo aprendí aquí con el teacher. Así es que prepárese. <ríe> Ay, qué fuerte. Ah, vaya. Bueno, por lo menos. Qué barbaridad. Sean, seamos serios. Mire, Adrianita está seria. ¿no? ¿Eh? Claudia también está bien seria. Pensando en esa gente que viaja. ¿Qué es? <risa> Okay, I got 14. I'm going to check up now the attendance. Ya esperé bastante. I got it. Okay, don't worry about the, the next weeks. You can continue with your plans because we are going to have vacation. But that means that we are going to finish the next week. As soon as we arrive from vacation, we are going to finish that week.
Ok, solo veo do seven cameras and the rest. I don't see. Oh, I got two more. Francis se le arruinó la cámara otra vez. Maria Elena's driving. Uh, Sida is in a difficult situation. Okay, Jenny is there. Let us see if today she can connect because yesterday was really difficult for her. Oh, he's there. Jenny is there. I did hear. La cámara, la good cámara. evening. Uh -huh, good evening. One second, teacher. Okay, one second. One second. <clears throat> Going on here. Yeah, I need to update the grades. Antes de irnos de vacation, necesito dejar las notas actualizadas. Así es que pilas, por favor, gente. Okay, Adriana. <clears throat> Present teacher. Adri is there. Eh, Ana Beatriz. Present. There are two. And Ana Lilian. Present. Ana Mariela. Ana Mariela. No. Carlos Antonio. Present. Yes, sir. Claudia is there too. Present. Ah, si le oía ya, bien lejos a Claudia. Francis. Francis Elizabeth, no está. Jonathan. Present. Eh, Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present teacher. Ok. Eh... Mayra Veralice. Veralice. No está. Zaira Eliana. No está. Eh, ¿Qué más? Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Okay. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Present teacher. Eh, Yesenia Lisset. Yesenia. Present teacher. Ahí está Yesenia. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. En Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Ahí está. All the crew. Ready to start today. Okay, let me see. 
Okay, let us talk about the previous class first, and then we are going to start talking about the new one. Let me see, my presentation is here. Let me share it, let me share it. Okay, this is video computer number 17. We are going to talk about vocabulary related with branding. But before to talk about that, we need to talk about the previous class. What do you remember that we talked yesterday? Tell me. Uh, the previous class is... Um... Resolve the question in a read conversation. Oh, okay. Excellent. What else? I remember a conversation in a, a new word. I don't remember. That typer. Typer. I don't know what it's <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, what's new for you, a diaper? Okay. I see the word and I imagine a baby. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. How, how to do with babies, the diapers. Okay, today we are going to talk about the vocabulary related with uh, branding. And we are going to uh, see some information, but I need that you uh, participate reading and discussing and talking about this topic. Because in that way, you are going to um, keep in mind what we are talking about. Okay, I got the first one say importance of brand. And brand is the sum total of how some receives a particular organization. Branding is shaping the perception. Was said by Ashley Freiden, the CEO and founder of Wild. This is a company. One should not ignore the importance of branding. It had become a necessity for product organization and even humans today. There is no there's of offering with similar properties. And the only thing that separates the particular offering from the competition in such a case is brand. And I, I think that uh, before we start discussing, we can also talk about specific brands related with different aspects. For example, uh, if you talk about shoes or cloth, uh, yesterday you mentioned some brands related with that. And now also we can continue talking about, but at the same time, uh, we, are not, we are not going only just to talk about the brand, but also we are going to talk about the characteristic that uh, are part of the brand that you are going to mention. I remember that uh, when I, when, when, when I uh, mentioned something related with uh, let me see, I asked you something uh, related with cloth, I guess. And you say, uh, no, as soon as we see the item, we can see um, maybe the quality of the product. But it is because you already know the brand. But what about if it is a new one? You need to know it. And what, what do you need to, to know in order to believe, to trust on it? Can you mention some characteristic that you are going to take into account at the moment that you are going to decide to 
by a, a specific product uh, from a specific brand. Tisha, huh? what is mean shaking? Hello? What is mean shaping? What is it? The second line, branding is shaping the perception. Shaping means like, um, how can I explain it, this concept? In order that you, okay, let us first relate with the word shape. Do you know what is shape? Shape? Only the word shape. Only the word shape. Yep. It's like a uh, uh, shape. For? Es como, shape is como una figura. Uh -huh, como figura, huh? Ok, podría ser una figura en este caso, ok, pero vamos a relacionar así para que luego eh, lleguemos al punto del contexto. But another synonym that we can have related with shape would be uh, in this context. Because right here say Brandon is shaping that perception. That is like a building a perception. La marca está como, como, como construyendo, como creando, como forjando la percepción. I don't know if you got it that way. It's something like uh, manipulate the, the perception or how, or, or how the, the brand see how, how the customer see their products. Let me see. Okay, based on the on the brand, you are having some ideas related with the product, and that is called perception. As soon as you see an a specific brand, you say uh, that brand is really good. I'm going to buy something, and that is your perception. But imagine that you need to buy uh, something for uh, to your car. And as soon as you see the product, uh, you find a name China and you say, no, I'm not going to buy something that is made in China. I need something that is made in Japan, for example. You are uh, shaping your perception. I don't know it's if I don't know if it is clear in that way. En, en, español, en español sería como lo que la marca forja en el cliente. Could be in that way. Okay, okay. Could be in that way. Okay, somebody else? And, and the question maybe could be, how important is the brand in a product? Even though the yesterday somebody said that uh, bought a pair of shoes and the one that bought in the downtown area are better than the one that may be bought in another place. I don't know if you remember that. But let us see the next one. Okay, take a look at the first line, branding. The offering should be a priority before the launch of the product in the market as it is held to. First of all, we need to understand these two lines. 
because branding uh, should be a priority before the launch of the product in the market. Why? Could be the question. What is the main reason why branding is so important before the launch of the product? Because the brand speaks the product, teacher. The brand? Mm -hmm. The brand speaks the product. Habla, la marca habla del producto. Ah, I got it. Okay. It's correct. The brand uh, speaks the product. Speak It's by the product. Speak by the product. Speak by the product. Okay. Thank you, teacher. And also helps uh, to create an identity for the offering. Branding is what the product is known for besides the generic properties. It is the unique name, color, design and even the psychological experience that makes the product identifiable in the market. Create consumer preference over the offering. The market is full of offering with the same properties, which often confuse the consumer to what he should buy or she should buy. A way through which consumer can confront this problem is through learning towards such brands, which they know and trust. That is really important. Popular brands are known to be safer investment as compared to the risky ones and they provide consumer satisfaction for the utility it provides them. Okay, right here, I would like to hear some example related with this uh, lines. Okay, you can base your opinion in this line. We said the popular brands are known to be safer investment and compared to the risky one and they provide consumer satisfaction for the utility it provides them. What can you tell me related with this? Give me some example. Hello. For example, When, I, when uh, uh, somebody create identity for the offering, mm. in luxury cars, for example. Okay. Uh, not everyone can buy a, a, a luxury car or supercar, for uh, for example, Lamborghini, Ferrari. But everybody knows that the all cars that make the brand are fast. I'm not I'm with uh, properly generic, for example, uh, all all the cars have I don't know two horsepowers, for example. Okay, um, and making a contrast with another brand? 
what we can say about. Let us see uh, the common brands that we have in nowadays in this country. Let us talk mm -hmm. maybe about Toyota and Hyundai. Okay, okay. For example, uh, to Toyota is a synonym of of. of a fiability car. Uh, Hyundai is is an, uh, is relations relational um, with a uh, uh, repuestos a uh, ship parts um, repuestos baratos. Um, Um, only, only. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else want to talk about this and clarify the concept, uh, given some example related with uh, with popular brands. No ideas? No ideas related with this? No ideas. No ideas? No. My God. Teacher. I, I, I know that, for example, okay. Teacher. Tell me. Uh -huh. I think that uh, I, uh, the blender. Okay, so uh, let, let us talk about Oster. Sí, ajá. Y hay esa marca y las otras pajaritas. Ah, okay, okay, not branded. We are going to call it not branded. No branding, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, then the blender Oster, uh, they buy, they sell, pardon, they sell the part of blender. Um, for example, the glaze, or the slice, cuchilla, ¿cómo se dice? Okay, slice. Okay, este, en other brand, no, no sell the parts of his blender. And that's... Okay, I, I got your idea. And the most important here is that you need to know if you are going to invest your money in something that uh, is going to be functional at least uh, one or two years. But if you are going to buy something that maybe is going to be cheaper, but uh, maybe it's going just to be working one month. And that means that you are to lose your money, right? Okay, let us go forward. Okay, another thing that we need to take into account is that uh, create a new as assets and build value. What is that? A brand in Excel it is, is an asset that can be sold separately. separately. Wonder why Apple product costs twice as much as the competition, which sell the product with the same configuration? Is the brand effect? What can you tell me about this? Read again the paragraph and then tell me. Yesterday we talked about to create values in a brand. Okay. 
it's correct, teacher. The brand um, makes that I prefer Coca Cola to Big Cola, for example. Oh, okay. okay. To reputation, image in, in marketing. Okay. Is, um, not, not only the presentation, but also the smell, the taste, when it is something related with uh, food, right? It isn't only is i think that marketing is marketing okay somebody else is famous branding for me it's famous is the for or marketing or um, no sé cómo explicarlo. Ah, como que es a través de los años. Ok, through time. But yes. teacher. No. But Coca-Cola um, pay a lot of money for his advertisement. Advertising uh, campaign. Uh-huh. Yes. And this is this is um ventaja. In advantage. Uh -huh. Okay. We, we are going to teacher the, the brand uh, to no sé, 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 allow that the product has a high price okay. to other products. Okay, okay, I got you. Okay, thank you. Uh, let us continue, build trust, branding and offering result in the professional appearance of the offering. It includes well strategy, uh, strategies, label and packaging according to the legal requirement and the plan positioning. This increases its appeal as consumer trust offering with the professional outlooks. That means that the company has to build the trust in order that people can trust on it. And in that way, you are going to buy it. If we talk about different detergents, I don't know if you can mention the ones that you trust. At the moment that you go to the supermarket, you are going to see a uh, different kind of detergent, but you already have an, a specific brand that you use. Or not? What is Thailand teacher? Hello, I'm still waiting. I don't know if you got my example. If we talk about detergents, si hablamos de detergentes, ladies, when you go to the supermarket, you already got your specific brand or not? Um, yes, teacher. Famous Rinso. <laughs> okay, Rinso. So. Teacher, for me, whatever. Teacher. For me, no. Okay. No matter the, 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 the brand. Okay. No, teacher, I was in the. How do you say lavadora? In the? How, how do you say lavadora? In the laundry? I was in the laundry. In the laundry, no. 
no reconoce marca. Ah, maybe the laundry, uh, it doesn't recognize any brand, but your clothes, yes. I have, I have favorite that the, el, ¿cómo, ¿cómo se dice? Detergent. ¿Cómo se dice teacher detergent? Detergent. Detergent. I have favorite detergent, but the, Mm, the smell. Okay, has to do with the smell. Okay. Or washing better the clothes, but other mar other brands is um, no se puede decir curtido curten la ropa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For example, teacher, the brand on the shampoo. That is the meaning of the consumer uh, talks another brand is of sales or the new product. They prefer one they use. Okay. Because it, suddenly you switch and you start using another one, uh, your hair is going to look different and maybe you are going to get dandruff and different kind of situation, right? For the hair, Excuse me? The, the consumer teacher uh, identify with, with the um, brand y no sé cómo se dice, un, un, como que les da un sentido aspiracional a algunas marcas. Ok. No sé cómo se dice eso. Aspiracional. Por ejemplo, eh, when a consumer use a Michael Kors o other brands of the high price. Ok, la situación aquí es que you trust in the product and also in the brand. And you and, and you feel well, you feel happy at the moment that you use it. Yes. And you say it smells really good. Okay. Let us continue. Improves price and satisfaction. Okay, how to do what you are saying. Branding the company or the offering improves the pride and satisfaction of boss, the consumer as well as the employees too. It personifies the company and its offering and helps everyone who associate with it to create a deeper connection with the brand is what you mentioned. You feel a deeper connection with the product. And when somebody else is using your same product, you, you smell it and you say, I know what you are using. Is that true? Yes. In case ladies used to do that. En el caso de las damas, ellas tienen ese olfato y dice, ah, ya sé qué loción es la que está usando, qué champú es el que está usando. ¿Por qué? Porque ya ellas tienen, a, ellas tienen ya como una parte de, de, de grabada en su, en, su, en su olfato, en su genética, ¿no? Talking about the product, right? And you identify easily. Ok. But here we are going to talk about how we are going to develop marketing strategies. We already talked about this. But we are going to talk a little bit more. Okay, marketing strategies. We do a brand. Will not. Will be nothing. Will be nothing. Okay, I'm going to make a stop here, and I need that you tell me what that means. Okay.
Downing. If no uh, no. If uh, a a campaign for marketing are not connect with the brand or, or doesn't know the, the the products or their intention of the brand or all strategy all strategy of marketing doesn't work. Okay, and we have something else here. Marketing strategy to do a brand will be nothing but futile as there will be nothing to identify the offering with. What is the meaning of this word futile? Marketing strategies with do a brand will be nothing but futile. Las estrategias de marketing sin una marca son, son qué? Inútil. Es algo sin sentido. As there will be nothing to identify the offering with. Porque no hay nada que, con que identificarse lo que se está ofreciendo. Branding is a core part of marketing as well, uh, as all of the marketing strategy have their roots in branding. I need that you understand that too. It's a core part. What is that? Branding is a core part. What is the core part? La cuarta parte. No. One of the main points. Ah, okay. Core part is the, is the principal part. Es la médula, es lo principal, la marca. Es el alma. Also, we can we can we can say in that way, core. The core is, is el alma, even though that we have another word how to say that. But branding is a core part of marketing, as all of the marketing strategy have their roots in branding. And take a look at this. The strategies have their roots in branding. Las estrategias tienen sus que? What is roots? Raíces. Ok, digámosle así. Raíces. ¿En, qué, en dónde están fundamentadas las, la, la, las raíces de las estrategias? The branding. ¿En la? Brand. En la marca. Ok. Ok, clear this concept. Yes. There, there are yes, new teacher. words. There are new words here, and I need that you create your own vocabulary. Remember that today we are uh, studying new vocabulary related with branding, and I hope that you um, make a list of new words because you are going to use it later on. For example, this word, core part necessary that you got it there. This one too. Okay. okay, right here we are going to have some elements of branding. Branding isn't limited to just name and logo. And I make a period there. 
What does mean? Because suddenly when we talk about branding, only somebody could say, okay, yes, we need a name and we need to create a logo. Is that, uh, is only that? No, we need something else. When, at the moment that we are going to create a new branding, that means that you are going just to think in another aspect. And I'm going to continue. It is a combination of characteristics and properties which have an effect on almost all of our senses to result in a uniform experience every time we have contact with it. Okay, I, I guess it is clear, but I need that you understand what we are talking about because um, I, I, what I want is that you understand these terms. But uh, the only way that you are going to show me that you are getting in touch is just uh, telling me what you think in your own words. Los conceptos están bastante claros. Pero eh, la mejor manera para hacerme entender que si están comprendiéndolos es que me lo redigan con sus propias palabras. Y si es posible, tal vez usando algún ejemplo relacionado con lo que vamos hablando. Hello. Let me see my microphone, maybe it's so. off. No, it's on. Teacher, for, for example, in... Ay, <laughs> se me olvidó. In, in fragrance. Fragrance. In, okay, we, teacher. Got, we got the message, okay. continue. Mm -hmm. For okay, example, and, in fragrance. In, you can every, say perfume if you want. Every every brand and have your essence. For example, the wood. Wood is madera, verdad? Okay, good. Okay. Wood, sweet. In they. Ellos se basan a lo que le puede gustar al customer. Okay, but, but imagine that you are going to create a product that um, is different, like uh, a, per a perfume, mm. but, but also you need to think in which have the effects that uh, this product is going to have in the sense of, of the customers. Because that is what we need to, 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 to take into account. Because remember, the branding is the combination of characteristics that have an effect in almost all our senses, not only as vision. Because at the moment that you see something, you say, wow, beautiful, I like it, I'm going to buy it. But something else is coming. Okay. Tell me. Teacher, <laughs> pero tienen botes bonitos. Ah. Okay. Teacher. Hello. For example, uh, I think that over uh, this the sandwich, uh, Solway. Sour. Uh -huh. This is there are Solway and other brand. His name is Quiznos. Uh, Quiznos is much better. 
están software. Ah, en, okay. No, y no, no, no es no eh, no sé, o sea, no es muy reconocido y la gente casi solo compra software y son mejores los, los quiznos. Okay. Entonces, ¿y qué estará pasando? ¿Qué es lo que le hace falta a la otra marca? Publicidad, creo yo. Ajá. Ah, ok. But, uh, ok, you are talking about uh, marketing. But also, uh, if you buy both product and you, you uh, establish the difference and which one is the best, do you start telling uh, to your friend that is better, right? And, and I, I, bueno, yo he visto que están cerca en un centro comercial pero siempre el software está lleno y el otro lugar está, o sea, poca gente. Y son maybe, más buenos. Maybe uh -huh. have to do with, with the price. I don't know. Casi huh? Está en los mismos precios también. In the same price. Ok, entonces, ¿cuál, ¿cuál P, así en español? ¿Cuál de las cuatro P será la que está fallando ahí? Eh... Sin ver, sin ver. No, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no me acuerdo. Hey, hey. Somebody else, somebody else, give her a hand. Promotion. It's promotion. Yes, promotion. it's promotion. And that means that this uh, company needs somebody that advise them what they need to do in order to increase the incomes. Esa empresa necesita una persona que le pueda asesorar y le diga, mire, podemos mejorar esto si ya tenemos un buen producto, un buen sabor, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Y como expertos ustedes ya conociendo la diferencia entre las 4P y las estrategias, pues ustedes van a ser asesores y van a decirle, mire, le va a funcionar esto. Y comenzamos a hacer esto. That, that is the idea. Okay. Branding is made up of innumerable elements, few of which are, okay. Let us see this. I'm going to show you not only the name and the logo, but also a combination of characteristics that I need that you take into account. Let me go next. But first of all, to continue, just take a glance. Delen así una mirada, así rapidita. We got name, logo, color, vision, and message. Let me check out the attendance first. Ahorita no me lo copie. <laughs> no me lo... Ah, it's a Jonathan. Yes, aquí estoy. I'm here. Okay. Alimentos aptos. Vía Campos. El día sábado tempranito actualizamos notas para que se vayan de vacation tranquilos. And I told you, I, I, today I got the message and we are going to have free the next week. Don't worry about your vacation because you are going to have it. Así es que no paren sus planes que tenían. Okay, Adriana. Present teacher. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Ana Mariela. Ana Mariela is not here today. No. Escobar. Present. 
Eh, Claudia. No, yo sé que te gusta más el juego. Ah, you are talking about brand. Ok. Talking about Coca-Cola and juice. Francis. Present teacher. Soy Jonathan. Present. Juan Carlos. Laura. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Ahí está Mayra. ¿eh? Es Aira Eliana. Ya no se presentó. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Present teacher. Jenny Alicet. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. Present Mario Ernesto. Present Ok. Let us continue talking about this. But I need that you participate. Ok. Um, I need five different volunteers who are going to read one characteristic. Me teacher, Wendy. Okay, Wendy is the fellow. Pero alguien más dijo. It's gonna be next. Okay. Permítame que mi perrito está leyendo por mí. Okay. Name. The name which we use to identify the product with. It's a chihuahua, I guess. It's a chihuahua. <laughs> no. A chihuahua? No, it's Maltes. <laughs> ah, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, the Pero name was... de chihuahua. <laughs> yeah, they're called the sound. The name which we use to identify the product with. Okay, give me give me some example, Wendy. Uh, for example, Coca Cola. It's famous. It is famous. It's famous. Okay, okay. Somebody else. Me teacher. Okay, continue. Logo, a simple roller the scene adapt by the business to identify his brand. A symbol or, or the design adapted by the business to identify its brand. Okay. You mentioned some uh, in order that we can remember. Only yes, if you one or two, tell me some logos. That as soon as we see it, we can identify it easily. Mencioneme dos logos de algunos productos. It's a hard teacher. For, for example, Pollo, Ampero, and Kentucky. No sé si tienen logo. Ah, you don't know. Es que I wow. I I see wow. I see logo in the cooperative. What, what, For what, me, what, this is logo. What about, what about Kentucky? What is the What is the logo? Is a uh, un señor. And got some letters. Kent, Kent, KFC. 
Q O C. Ah, ok. Ok, somebody out. Let us talk about the next one. Me, teacher. Ok. Uh, color mostly used by the business in its marketing messages to describe or complement the brand. Ok, examples. Uh, for example, Pepsi. Pepsi uh, use red, white, and blue. Ah, ok. Also, we can see it in uh, telecommunication companies like uh, Telefonica, Tigo, Tigo, Claro, and Digicel. That is almost the same. You got the different color, and you can identify it easily because the color. Okay. Okay. Continue with the next one. Somebody else. Who's next? Who's next? Goals or objectives they gain the brand as health, will, needs, activities, and future. Okay, uh, you are talking about vision. The group of goal or objective behind the brand that help guide its activities and its future. And also in your company, you have vision and mission, right? The mission is allow the entry, the objective of the company. Okay. It's the one that we, we are trying to reach. Okay, in the last one, somebody else. Hello, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, please. Volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay. Message. The value position of the brand, which is conveys throughout the brand personally to set the brand positioning. Ah, okay. It's the message that. Uh, your brand is going to reflect to the people. And there you are going to have the values that are the ones that are going to be conveyed to the personality. And also, in that way, uh, this specific brand is going to have a specific position at the moment that you are going to compare or that you are going to decide. Imagine, okay, let us, let us do this in this way. Imagine that you need to buy a new bed. In which one do you think? As soon as I said the word bed. Imagine that tomorrow you are planning to go and buy a new bed. Se les olvidó la marca de su cama. No, I don't believe it. Indufon, teacher. Ah, Indufon. Ok. Ok. Somebody else? Because everybody got, had uh, a different, maybe. I got more than 15 people, and uh, at least I need to have uh, five, seven people saying different brands. Capri. Ah, could be Capri. Yeah. What else? En sueño se llama Nuna. Ah, ok. En sueño. Para que le dé sueño. Regina. 
What else? Okay, all this aspect that I got here, all these characteristics you are going to take into account at the moment that you are going to create your own brand. Make an screenshot if you want, please. Because later on you are going to create your own. And for that reason, I've been going slowly because I need that you understand all the steps that we are going to follow. Okay, let us move on. Also, we are going to consider shape, either the distant shape or the offering or the shape or the packaging. What is that? Give me examples. I'm waiting. For, <laughs> sorry, for example, um, Domino's Pizza. For example, the logo of Domino's Pizza, uh, they use um, a piece of uh, Domino, like the, that famous game table. Okay, I have to do with the shape. And also the shape of the product. I, I, I guess that is, is, is something like that, right? Yeah. Okay, good example. What about the next one? Aroma. The distant smell which the user experiences before, during, or after he uses the offering. Give me some example related with this. But only one, only one example, no more. Pollo campero, teacher. Okay. Tell me. Um, the smell. Um, you can uh, feel the smell. Um, far, far away. <laughs> oh, far away. Okay. <laughs> okay, far away. And imagine that is uh, one o'clock. And you need to eat something, and you say, "Is there? I'm close. I'm close." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Another example. That coffee is too bitter. Ah, is oh. the same example. Ah. Okay. The same example. Let us talk about a specific brand of coffee. Um, all, all rest, no, restaurant coffees. Uh, for example, Starbucks. Ah, oh, Starbucks. Okay. Oh, coffee cup. Ah, okay. Excellent. Okay, let's talk about graphics. The uniform and this thing, aesthetic use in the marketing messages. What is that? Read it and try to understand it. Message or slogan or no, graphic. I don't, I don't remember.
The restaurant use uniform teacher with the the colors of the brand. For example, oh. Pollo Campero is orange and white. Uh, they they use uniform, right? Yes. Okay. What else? Gas station too. Oh, uh, gas Texaco. Station. Okay. It's red and black. And Puma is different, right? Yes. And no brand is new that appear now. Y otras que aparecieron pronto que ya no tienen marca porque eran de otro color, pero ya se descolorearon. But we are not going to mention it. Okay, the last one sounds the sound used in the marketing messages to reinforce the brand identity. What can you tell me about sounds? Think, think about. And you, and you can mention an ad that you see or hear maybe uh, on television or in the radio? Uh, the, hello? Uh, the Coca-Cola is being conocido. But what is the sound? Um, aquí, aquí la tengo, pero no lo <laughs> No me acuerdo. De la because, musiquita. Okay, because uh, the sound is going to help you to identify. Motorola teacher, uh, it, they have have a sound in the brand. Oh, okay. It use uh, to when I sería off the cell phone on the cell phone cuando se enciende el teléfono tiene un sonidito. Ah, and uh, it and, use and, and, say, to... and say hello moto. Yes. <laughs> yes. And, and I don't use Motorola, I use iPhone. But In the I marketing, know. use uh, the same song. Ah, okay. Aunque hoy casi ya no se oye mucho del, del Hello Moto. Teacher. Hello. Eh, se, also, with my coworker in, in the work, in my okay. work, when when we want eat pizza, eh, we say pizza pizza. He is little Caesar. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. Also, uh, Microsoft with Windows when you start uh, is have a song. Typical with window. Yes, windows. Ah, okay. Okay, excellent. Oh, what is that? It what is... do you What do you think when the listing? That sound. <laughs> I think. <laughs> no <Nokia>. clear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, uh, uh, how can I say this? Uh, in different brands, you can have different sounds, right? And suddenly, uh, some people use it in order that when somebody else is going to listen, think that you are using uh, a different brand. Okay, make a make an screenshot about this too, because you are going to use it too. The movies, teacher. <laughs> the movie? The, the movies and the sound of the movies. <laughs> it, it's okay. similar to uh, a, a brown. A brown. Okay, let us continue because we, are, we need to... 
we need to do something. Okay, I'm going to read this type of branding. Branding is a limited to products. Today, uh, we witness the branding of organization, products, services, places, and even people. Here are four types of branding one should know about. Okay, for example, we talk about product branding. Uh, product branding is one of the most common type of branding where the offering is given an identity and a personality to make it ident identifiable and differentiable in the markets. Even though it is called product branding, it isn't limited to just product. Product branding refer to the branding of any offering, be it product or service. Okay, maybe uh, just if you read the first two lines, you are going to get an idea related with this product branding because we need to study the full one and then we are going to resolve an exercise. Take into account, and if, and if you want to make a screenshot too, because I'm seeing the time and, and we need to go over. Okay, an example of product branding could be, uh, this is an American, brand that is called Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew has its own name, color, voice, and personality. One can recognize the brand even when the generic product is not even there. And let me let me send you uh, the link that you are going to in order that you see it because I need that you get familiar with this. Hold on a sec. I'm going to share with you because I right here I can I can I can show it. Aquí no puedo mostrarles el video. Sharing WhatsApp. Yes, I'm going to do it there. Aquí no podemos hacerlo. You are going to take yes some second in order to watch it. And then you are going to tell me. And you are going to take into account all the, the characteristics. Okay, I don't know why my my computer is not working properly. Ya necesita un cambio de corazón, maybe. I need to to check up memories and something else. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I need that you take a look of it and that identify all the aspects that I have mentioned. You can announce your identification. Okay, take a look of it. You got it there, no. Ahí lo tiene. Take a look, take a look. I don't know if you have seen this uh, ad. Más creo que sí, algunos ya vieron ese anuncio.
Did you finish? <laughs> what can you tell me about the ad? What called your attention? Ok, creo que todavía no han terminado de verlo, ¿cierto? Do we have that branch here in El Salvador? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah, ok. But, but uh, they don't need to make promotion here in El Salvador because this brand is uh, belong to the US. Okay, what called your attention? Tell me. Um, characteristics or, or what? Yeah, there's something that called your attention. ¿Qué es lo que más le llamó la atención del, 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 del anuncio? Del comercial, whatever you call it. For me, very, very sad. <laughs> poor, poor animal. <laughs> ah, the poor, okay. okay. I love it, animals. And for me, it's, it's bad. Bad commercial. <laughs> Bad commercial. Ah, oh, okay. But at the <laughs> beginning, but at the beginning, as as so now you see the the the, the cheetah, uh, yeah. with the Ooh. men call, call your attention, right? Because they 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 were in a uh, in a contest. Okay, but you are going to create your own later on. Okay. Okay, let me finish my presentation because I need that you continue working with something else. Uh, I don't know where I have it it's here. I don't see it. It was a okay. Uh, let me fix this. I don't know what is going on here. Come over a little bit. Again, I don't know why. What's going on here when at the moment that I present it, there is something that is not. in a smaller way. Okay, I guess now I can see it pretty well. Okay, I got it. Here we go. 
I'm sorry. Okay, let us talk about personal branding. When we talk about personal branding, it's very common among uh, politicians, celebrities, athletes, or other people who, who have niche followership. This type of branding makes it easier for these people to create an image for themselves among their followers. This brand image not only helps them in creating new business opportunities for themselves, but also benefit the brand associated with them. And then one example that we got is Michael Jordan is a perfect example of a personal branding who because of his niche followership was not only able to benefit himself by launching his own apparel line, but also benef benefited Nike, which uh, partnered with uh, him to launch the same. That is what we call personal branding. And you can mention different examples about this situation, but let me go there to the next one. When we talk about corporate branding, branding the organization is unimportant as branding, the offering is selling. Corporate branding gives uh, an identity to the offering provider and opens new opportunity for him to extend his offering portfolio easily. Corporate branding is, uh, is also a uh, little importance when it's come to hiding uh, as employees always decide to work with a company with a known brand. And we got an example, PepsiCo is a good example of corporate branding. The company has several product lines and its product mix, including uh, Frigo Life, Pepsi, Dye Pepsi, uh, also got Mountain Dew, Lace, Gatorade, Tropicana, etc., all of which are owned and operated by the parents brand PepsiCo. That is why we call it corporate branding. And also I got a picture, I guess. Okay, you can see different products for the same company. You can see it there. And also uh, geographical branding. When we talk about geographical or regional branding, it is often used by tourist industry to create a brand out of a geographical location by assigning a certain characteristic and experience to attract more visitors. For example, Hawaii is being marketed as the perfect destination to visit if you want to go to a beautiful island line with beaches of worm, white sand, and burden, lice flora, the stage it is also marketed as the only place to experience Hawaiian cuisine, Hawaiian art, and the Navy, uh, Hawaiian <clears throat> region. And also you can see the picture here. As soon as you see this picture, you imagine and you say Hawaii. Okay, maybe some of you are going to visit the next week, Hawaii, but you are so quiet. Okay, no, don't worry about it. Okay, and, and we have some examples of branding. We agree that brands are everywhere. People are brands as well. But what makes a great brand? What separates a good brand from a bad one? Well, here are three examples to help us out to understand the concept of branding and even more. I'm going maybe to read only this one because you need to resolve the exercise that we run in the books. Coca-Cola, with, uh, with, with an estimated brand value of 73.1 billion Coca-Cola is the number, is the number three most valued brand in the world. The company used branding so well that the word Coca-Cola is the second most understood word in the world after the word OK. The company started with the product branding by naming its soda Coca-Cola, giving it a unique space, color, bottle shape, and eventually turning the product into an experience and product branding into a corporate branding. 
two. Okay, I guess that with this, I'm going to go to the next one. We, we have McDonald. Okay, you got in your book this exercise that talk about all the, the vocabulary that I already mentioned. It talks about product branding, personal branding, corporate, corporate branding, uh, geographical and cultural branding, right? But what I want that you to do is this. Let me see if we got enough time. Okay. Uh, look at these two set of questions to guide the branding process of a company or a person. It's up to you if you are going to talk about product branding or you are going to talk about personal branding. In that way, if you are going to talk about product branding, you are going to use the question that we got at the left or you are going to use the one that we got at the right. What you are going to do is the following. Based on this question, you are going to choose a well-known product or service in the national market, and you are going to answer the, guide, the guiding question. And let us see uh, in 15 minutes if you are going to have the chance to create the basic profile of the brand for the product or service you choose. And you are going to repeat the process to develop the basis of your personal brand. And then you are going to present. I don't know if you got any questions so far from here. Uh, van a trabajar en pareja, van a buscar un producto o servicio nacional. Y en basado en eso, si se refiere a, a una marca personal, van a hacer esas las preguntas que van a usar. Pero si se refiere a una compañía, pues serán esas las preguntas. Y basado en eso, crean un perfil pequeño del producto que usted ha elegido, tomando en cuenta las características que ya le mencioné y que ya tiene usted las screenshots referentes a eso. No sé si hay alguna pregunta relacionada con lo que acabo de decir de último. No entendí cuando, cuando fuera producto y cuando es eh, compañía. Ah, ok. You, you have a name. So the name, logo y todo eso. Ok, you got it. Uh, you got it in, the, in, the, in, the, in your books on page number, let me see, 26. En la, 26. Página, en la página 26, you have uh, two different aspects, product branding and personal branding. If you are going to talk about product, you are going to use all those questions in order to, to get the results. But as your business or product do, uh, what problem do you solve for your customer? Who are your three main competitor, leader, or indirect? What is the primary message do you want to convey to your customer? What será ese mensaje que usted quiere transmitirle a las personas? What are five objective or word that best describe your company? And you have to mention. Con cinco palabritas, usted puede hacer como, como que su, su jingle de su producto. And if you are going to talk about personal branding, you are going to talk about the service do you have or to offer to people. What do you do to make you stand out from everywhere else? Who are your biggest competitor and what are they doing to brand themselves? Uh, what do you want your personal brand to convey? What objective do you want people to associate with you as a product and why? And based on that, you are going to start working. I don't know if you have any question. No, no vamos a hacer eh, algo así enorme, ¿no? Porque el tiempo que tenemos es corto. Pero eh, al menos la idea principal es la que nos va a ayudar. Ok. Ah, let, let. Teacher. Productos ya, productos que ya, ya conocidos. Yeah, it's, it's going to be that in that way. Because if we see the material, the instruction says choose a well-known product or service in your national markets. 
And what you are going to identify is the answer of the questions. For example, Dave, what is the primary message do you want to convey to your customer? You, you, you need to have your ideas about that. Okay, let me see how many people do we have. Uh, let me see if I... Let me see. My goodness. Teacher, pero las preguntas las vamos a crear nosotros o están acá porque yo no las veo. No, las preguntas están en el material. En la página 26. ¿Ya las encontraron? ¿Sí? Yes. Ok. Let us go there and try to identify it. Yesenia. Ok, ok, ok. Le voy a dar una manito así rápido. Solo elijan la imagen del producto. Uh -huh. Ok. Y luego a la hora de presentarlo, no es que vamos a estar leyendo eh, cada pregunta y cada respuesta. No. ¿Verdad? Solamente hablamos de logo. Si tiene, por ejemplo, eh, un eslogan. Si tiene un eslogan. Eh, y algunas características. No es algo así enorme, ¿no? Ok. Como, como le dijo ahí alguien de no complique. Ok. Ok, bye bye. Do you solve it for clients? For clients. Eh, sería, bueno, como uno usa de todo el diseño, usted. la comodidad que diga yeah, comfort, comfort, comfort eh, durabilidad, durable, ¿cómo se escribe? Durable. <laughs> Durabilidad, durabilidad. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Eh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, hola. Hola, teacher. Okay, ok, no se compliquen. Solo elijan el, el producto. El logo, el producto. Y luego solo, no es que me van a leer cada una de las preguntas y sus respuestas. Uh -huh. Sino algunas características. Y si tiene algún, si tiene algún eh, que algún mensaje, algo, solo eso. Ajá. Es que estamos enfocando en las cinco preguntas, teacher. Vaya, sí, ¿Qué sí, hace sí. tu negocio o producto? Elegir fabricador, fabricación de zapatos. De ahí sí. la siguiente era, ¿qué problema resuelve para tus clientes? O sea, ya son las características del diseño de los zapatos, que sería confortable, sí. durability. Uh -huh. eh, características. Colors. Ajá. Ajá. Colors, ajá. Ajá, Dis ajá que es en función del design, digamos. Okay. ¿Quiénes son tus tres principales competidores? Podríamos otras dos fábricas más. 
okay. X porque okay. no hay en el país. Digamos. Ok, you got it, you got the message. Ah. Ya, no, verdad. Bye. No, este huevo no, no. no. Ya. Yes. Teacher. Okay, okay, okay. I'm here just to give you some tips. Uh, what you need to identify is the product or the logo. Uh, no, van a, no es que me van a responder eh, o van a ir haciendo cada pregunta y dando la respuesta. ¿sí? Ah, ok. Van a hablar en forma general de su producto, si tiene algún logo, eh, ah, okay. si tiene algún mensaje que, con el que se identifica. ¿Ya? Tratemos de hacerlo. Ah, okay. ok, continuo. continuo, continuo. We, we can't hear you, teacher. My microphone. Okay, I'm here. Yes, if you have any questions. Uh, don't forget that what you need to do is just to identify your product or the brand, and then uh, you are going just to talk about the characteristic. I mean, you are not going to read in, uh, the question. No es que van a leer las preguntas y su respuesta. No. En, for, en forma general, en forma general, vamos a hacer el comentario sobre el producto. Ya. Okay. Okay. okay Aprobémonos porque ya el tiempo se nos está terminando. Hola, papi. Hola, hija. 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 Hola,
Okay, because of the time, we are going just to see only two. And the rest are going to have the opportunity to present it tomorrow at the beginning of the class. But today I'm going to write down the names of the people in each group. Por el tiempo solo van a presentar dos. Voy a dejar anotados los nombres para saber quiénes son los que van a participar hoy o los. Y así nadie me diga el día de mañana eh, ya pasé. Ok, volunteers. Entre más rápido, más rápido eh, terminamos, ¿sí? I don't know it's good, but for example, our, our clothes do a uh, wash clothes. Uh, the, uh, the problems um, make a uh, uh, a clean a clean clothes and sell a gym. Our or principal contributors are Sully, Ariel, and Dan. And we talk and we try to to, to send the mission that we are essence is better. Five adjectives are, are cheap, uh, abundant, uh, let me see the, the number two. Um, all that. <laughs> Only five questions first. Yes, okay, thank you. Somebody else. No. Teacher, redactamos, redactamos una pequeña presentación, pero no la terminamos, pero tenemos cuatro diapos. Si gusta, la presentamos, pero nos permite compartirla. Here we go. Tato. Adopt teacher, eh, como branding. Ah, ok. Y Vision, encontramos esa parte. Eh, Claudia. Ok, okay. Adopt is the largest footwear store in Central America. Aimed at the current mother and aesthetic for family. Adopt sets strengths in fashion. The trend high fashion and is also a benchmark of indispensable quality, variety, style, and comfort. The slogan teacher is <laughs> always, always uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> always one step ahead. Siempre un paso adelante, teacher. Oh. <laughs> Competitors. Aquí me faltó. Eh, principal oh, okay. competitor. Eh, para Avenue, que colect, teacher. Yes, para <laughs> we, we talk about also issues and caídas. Ah, uh, yes, national. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Nice. Okay, the rest is going to be tomorrow because we are going to continue talking about. Let me check out the attendance.
Okay. El día de mañana iniciamos con las presentaciones de lo que hicieron falta hoy. Adriana del Carmen. Present. Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Ana Mariela. Present. Escobar. Present. Claudia. Present. Jonathan. Present. Francis. He's not here. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos Rivas. Laura Carolina. Present. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present. Uh, let me see. Mayra Veralice. Present. Bueno, Racino ya no. Zaira Eliana. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Eh, Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. El Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Let me see, according to the list. Number 17 is Santos Misael Cañas. I don't know if you have time in order to talk a little bit at the end of the class related with the topic or the module is, okay. Okay, thank you. I got, I got all. I hope to see you tomorrow. Um, como les dije al inicio, para quienes no estaban, ya me confirmaron que eh, la otra semana sí es vacación y nosotros terminaremos justamente después de la semana de vacación. Así es que sus planes no, de viaje. Toda la semana se haga vacación. Ok. Sí, sus planes, de, sus planes de viaje siguen hacia adelante. Directos a claro. Hawaii. La semana es de cuándo, teacher? Desde el lunes. Yeah, I'm going to share it, uh, the schedule that they send me, right? Okay. Por ahí les voy a, les voy a compartir el, 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 el calendario que ellos me enviaron para que ahí tengan sus datos. Okay. No, me, no, me, no me dijeron que lo compartiera, pero se supone que si me lo enviaron es para que les comparta la información. Ok, teacher. Así okay, es teacher. que ya le veo otra cara. Ya, yeah, I see a different face. Yeah. <laughs> ok, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 Are we supposedly working until this week? Okay, let me let me see the platform now. Ahorita le digo. I only get confused with them. Okay, hold on. Ahorita, ahorita lo revisamos. Para que no vaya a hacer todo, todo el módulo. <laughs> <laughs> si no, lo va a terminar el módulo antes. <laughs> All right. Okay, let me see right here. No veo mi 60 megas al momento de cargar, no sé por qué. Voy a resetear mi máquina. Maybe it's my computer. Esta sería sección 3. 
see, talk about branding. But let me see. Okay, it, it, it is easy in order that you can know until um, which activity you are going to work. La forma más fácil para identificar uh, hasta dónde es ir viendo en la parte donde está eh, el símbolo de los vídeos. Hello. Let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. Yo me quedé en la 2.11. Y en okay. esa hay... Ok, I don't know if you can see it now. Sí, 2.11. I don't know if you can see it now. No sé si puede ver mi pantalla ahorita. Sí, sí, se ve. Ok, aquí tenemos, por ejemplo, esta sería la videoconferencia número 16, que fue ayer. Significa que hay que hacer la 3.1 de ayer. Esta sería la de hoy, que es la 17. Significa que hay que trabajar la 3.3. La de mañana, que será la número 18, significa que habrá que trabajar la 3.5. Y la 19 que sería la 3.7 llegando hasta la 20, que sería la 3. Let me see, right here, 7. Esta sería la 8 y esta sería la 3.9. So, nos vamos guiando por, el, por el, lo que encontramos en el signo aquí del vídeo. Si, por ejemplo, aquí está la, la, la clase 20. Entonces, el ejercicio que viene es el que sigue aquí. No sé si quedamos ahí claros. Sí, le que está bien. ¿Y si ha llegado hasta la número cuánto? Bo, bueno, es que me quedé en esta porque no, no logré ponerla correcta en la 2.11. Ah, 2.11. Ok, la... le, le, le me copado. No logré poner, o sea, no me sale bien. But uh, you are talking maybe about the midterm. Area uh, 2.11. Ah, uh, this one. In the part of the, let's see, in the second part that relates with enough, number two. I have, I have right road or product. That one, number two, I, I wrote. Uh, this, one, this one? Yeah, number two. Ah, our products. Our product offer enough features and benefits. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Voy a dejar de compartirle. And I'm going to give you some ideas. Not the answers, but at least some, some, some cues. You are talking about number two. Yes, yeah, the number two. Okay, read it in the way that you have it, please. Um, I have our product offer enough features and benefits. Mm, I got it. I got it. I know what is the problem. And also, uh, which one is the another one that you are having problem? Number four. Number four? Mm -hmm. I have the marketing department hasn't created enough interest. Okay, there is something that is missing there. 
I don't know if you if you can show your screen and and, and I, I need to be sure about something. Okay, okay. Uh... Okay, okay. Could you move it? The marketing department. No, talking about that one, the number four, the marketing department. Passing. Ah, I got it there. The problem is the bear. Yes. Remember that you are using a. Uh, you are talking about perfect time. And when you talk about perfect time, you need to use the bear in a different way. Uh, as this way? No. No. Cuando usamos los verbos en con tiempos. Uh, has it, right? Has not. No, no, no. It's that way. Try it that way. No, you got it right. Uh, this one, as the this one. Yeah. Idea. Check it. Check it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was something that I haven't thought about. Well, mm -hmm. this one. Que conste que no le di la respuesta, le di una idea. <laughs> sí, sí. No me he percatado de eso. Ah, ok. Offer and now features and benefits. The, might be the point. No. No. In this, um, how can I explain this? We, we, we are having a problem because we, the person that created the exercise missed a word here. Uh -huh. Yeah, he or she missed a word. And for that reason, if you use it only just this word that you have here, that is why you got the error. Mm -hmm. And I, I already reported, ya, ya reporté esto para que, para que lo arreglara, pero no hasta esta fecha no me han dado una respuesta. A, a través de lógica, tiene que como buscarle para mientras ellos lo, lo pueden arreglar, porque si ya les envié eso, se lo compartí a ustedes en el grupo. Our product offer. How, how do you say it? How do you have it there? Enough. Feature and benefits. Okay, something is missing. It's a word. But of course, if, if you don't have it there, it's, it's, it's really difficult for you to, to solve it. But try to, trate de, de ir como haciéndolo por, como en lo que ellos reparan eh, a través de como, como lógica que suene, que suene bastante bien con otra palabrita que está por ahí, pero que no está aquí. <laughs> All right. I know that is kind of difficult to, to, to know exactly. Okay. But I, I'm going to look um, in the book. I guess we got a, an example related with that. En el libro tenemos eh, un, una oración parecida a esa que si tiene esa palabra. Uh -huh. Trate de ubicarse en, en el ejercicio de, de esa parte porque ahí está. Let me see if I can get it. Déjeme ver si, si, si ahorita la puedo encontrar porque está bastante arriba. No recuerdo el número de, de clase que fue esa. And I gave you some example related with this. Hay una, there is one that says our product are price per unit. No, that is not now. And I consider high end our solution now. No, that is not that one.
But let me see. It's number two, you say, right? Uh, on the page number 23, there is the exercise for yes, products, I, I got it. features, and benefits. Okay, what I can tell you is that before the word feature, you need to have another word. Yeah. When we talk about feature, we can. Uh, can say that, let me get a synonym because I don't want, I don't want to give you the exact word. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, because uh, no I, I can give you the, 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 the answer, mm -hmm. but let us see if I get uh, a synonym. Mm -hmm. Some, Great. Something that is big. Um, huge, wide. Mm -hmm. Continue, continue. Uh, something that is big. Yeah. But right now you're related with Fisher. Hmm. Has to has to be with a synonym. Instead of say big fish, we use that word. Hmm. Imagine that you uh, make an acquisition and at the end I said, you may, and I say the word, ja. What is the word that is missing? Incredible? No. No. <laughs> that's, that's a good question. Yes, <laughs> that is a good question. I didn't think about it. No? I have some ideas. Let me see how many letters the word have. Five letters. Five letters. Five letters. Five letters. Let's start with with the letter T. Now and with T. And I start with G. Okay. G. Yeah. G. 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 That's uh... That's a really difficult question. All right, but I will think about it. No, it's maybe it's not difficult. It is just uh, uh, imagine something that is big, but okay. using another synonym. Um, with the letter J. With G, with G, with G. With a, um, giant. Almost close. It is close. Mm. Great. <laughs> My God, that was the, the, the good one. Great. Uh. Uh. Let's see. That, that's the answer, right? Great. Uh, let's go.
going to be our product offer. Um, features. Offer. Great enough. So according to that, in that sentence at number two, the word, that word is missing. Yes. Um, okay. the, the, the thing that you need to do is this. The word mm -hmm. that you mentioned, yep. it, is a, it is a noun or it is an adjective oh. as an aptitude. Let me see. Uh, si es un nombre, la, la palabra enough va a ir en un lugar. Si es adjetivo, va a ir en otro lugar. Yeah. Because great, it's an adjective, right? Ah, okay. Ahí está la, la respuesta. Si es un adjective, ¿a dónde va a ir en app? Um, Before or after? Uh, after? Mm. Or, no, let's see. Before. Try, try and that way. Okay. Bueno, ahí, ahí le queda ya la opción. Usted trate si antes o después y después va a decir, ah, quiera. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you, teacher. Oh, okay. I, I hope that you can resolve it. And tell me tomorrow if you, if you, if you okay. could. Okay. Good night, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you. Teacher.